My name's Stuart Dixon and I'm an IT worker for the Kent and Medway NHS and Social Care Partnership Trust. I'd like to show you a short presentation about how my trust is changing its IT in order to bring about savings in carbon, both in the number of trees we use and the volume of emissions of greenhouse gases which contribute to global warming. In 2009 the Trust began to ensure it became compliant with the Environmental Management Standard ISO 14001. It began to embody this into every business case relating to its IT systems. The Trust has a workforce of 4,000 people based in a number of office sites and hospitals across the whole of Kent. There are between 100 and 150 service teams delivering mental health care. In delivering services, the main concerns were to save trees and reduce carbon emissions. With estimates of individual use of paper running at 25 sheets of A4 per person per day, and with an average of 60% of that being wasted, the Trust began to examine its consumption in more detail. Due to the size and function of the Trust, our annual paper usage amounted to several shipping containers of paper. We took the weight of a shipping container to be around 40 tonnes. It was plain to see the Trust had a problem, so this became an obvious target. The second obvious target is to bring about a reduction in carbon emissions made not only by vehicles, but by using power from the national grid. While the Trust focused on waste electricity, the IT department felt it could contribute to this reduction in a number of ways. Since 2010, the Trust has therefore implemented several new systems and services which achieve both a reduction in paper and carbon emissions. Further measures were taken. Cloud services allow people to work anywhere, at home, in the workplace or in the community. Workers can utilise any computer available. The service is delivered via the internet as opposed to the NHS networks. The Trust recently also introduced a thousand mobile computers for community workers to ensure patients are treated in the community. By the end of 2013 more different types of mobile devices will become common in the Trust. People will be using either new lightweight laptops tablet PCs or smartphones to create their medical records as well as their personal home computers, further obviating the need to travel to a central workplace. In its data centres the Trust has shrunk the number of servers required to store and deliver information to a desktop across a network. This went down from 200 to 20 such devices producing a corresponding 80% saving in the electricity used. For the future, by deploying a special thin client computer throughout the Trust, the energy consumption of each device can potentially be reduced from 350 watts to less than 10 watts. So within a state of a thousand desktop computers it's easy to see that replacing a consumption of 700 kilowatt hours can be reduced to 10 kilowatts per hour. The Trust is currently in the process of tendering for new desktop devices to replace the current fleet. The Trust is focusing on reducing the number of trees it consumes by using effective audio-visual services such as video conferencing and electronic meeting formats. Both of these changes are aimed to cut both transportation and reduce carbon emissions. This typical scene depicts a boardroom and it's not difficult to see the problem. In these four chairs there are 500 sheets of paper, 120 each to support each attendee. The Trust recognises it has a problem at meetings, but not a new problem. As you can see, this situation hasn't changed much over the centuries. However, to make changes the Trust has deployed and is deploying several means by which trees can be saved. The Trust now uses collaborative and productive technology in the boardroom where the Trust Board is pioneering the use of software deployed on Apple iPads. Also, 
the Trust is deploying a more modern office suite which has productivity tools such as Microsoft OneNote built in. OneNote can be used to share meeting papers and to work on documents collaboratively without paper at meetings. As the Trust draws down the number of sites it uses, it is also consolidating its services into eight service hubs supported by the same number of hospitals and clinics. This has the effect of making it easy to deploy video conference tools throughout the management structure. Because of this, service line directorates can establish their own video networks to keep in touch with each other. Trust meeting rooms have been fitted with both video and audio conferencing tools. In meeting rooms, video conferences can be set up automatically and once booked you attend the meeting room and the conference begins at a predetermined time by switching on the screens automatically at each of the designated sites simultaneously. Staff can video conference from a meeting room from special video phones such as the E20 desktop video phone or by using special desktop software called Jabber. Since 2009 the Trust has been reducing ton for ton the carbon produced in the paper manufacturing process by cutting down on paper being used for printing. It uses electronic filing and record systems such as RIO and it scans its paper records using the multifunctional devices provided by RICO UK. These devices are designed to use less pollutants such as inks and toners and they make 30% savings on paper mostly by being able to print both sides by default. In 2013 the Trust will be introducing pull printing in order to provide local printing facilities this will enable us to travel the least distance to pick up our printing. Pull printing provides a further 20% saving. By the way, Rico MFDs use 80 grams per square metre, 100% recycled paper. So, there you are. These are just some of the many new and exciting projects being delivered to make carbon savings. While this slide is showing, please take some time to reflect. This trust has taken steps to provide a number of tools to help you preserve the environment as a clean place for our children and grandchildren. It's up to you now to ensure these facilities are used to the full. Always consider video conferencing when booking meetings. Please don't print and if you need to get advice on the many ways you can produce a document besides using paper, please feel free to use the contacts in this.